Hey, my name is Aiden Bai. I'm a junior at Canvas High School. And for my project this year, I created Million.js, a fast compiler augmented virtual DOM for performing JavaScript UI libraries. So today, when you go on your device and visit a website, um, these websites are usually created with something called an SPA JavaScript UI library. The great thing about these libraries is that you can declaratively express the UI. So instead of creating a complex procedure to create the user interface, all the developer has to do is to provide the library with a model. These libraries utilize rendering at runtime. So all the work that needs to be done uh, to put the website's content on your screen is done in your device. This can result in high loading times and bad performance. In figure one, you can see the major bottlenecks with the virtual DOM rendering algorithm, or one of the major ways developers render to the web page. In the recent months, there has been a trend toward transitional UI libraries. These libraries um, utilize incremental JavaScript runtime, or essentially JavaScript is only downloaded and executed when you need it. To do this, um, these optimizations include pre-rendering in islands. If we take a look at figure two, you can see interactive and static portions of the website. If you go to like Facebook or something, this can be maybe um, the static part could be some text and the interactive part could be the posts that people make. Pre-rendering is a process of compiling the static content on the server. This way, the user doesn't need to compile additional static content. Islands are areas where interactivity is provided on demand. This is great, but it doesn't solve the actual rendering performance of the UI library. When regions become interactive, they use the same rendering algorithm. Basically, the goal is to leverage the compiler to bring rendering into the future. So I want my library to be both practical and pure. I want it to be lightweight, fast, modern, and very easy to use. As you can see, there's a very sensible API to render the user interface. Additionally, I want my library to be very pure. I focus on one architecture, the virtual DOM architecture. This way, the developer only needs to learn one architecture. Additionally, I want my library to be very decoupled or library agnostic. This way, you can develop a bunch of different types of paradigms and kind of concepts over million.js. Finally, I want my library to be very composable. I do this through drivers. As you can see in figure three, three drivers are composed together. Drivers are essentially blocks of logic that try to achieve a goal. These goals can be combined together to create even more complex goals. I use TypeScript, Rollup, Vite, Jest, Prettier, and ESLint to create my project, and I publish it on NPM. I use some optimizations. Um, I use key nodes, compiler flags, deltas, and scheduling. And in figure four, you can see how I optimize key nodes. My implementation consists of three phases, compile, diff, and patch. Let's take a look at it closely. My major optimizations within, within the diff and compile phases are how I generate the virtual nodes and the children driver, where I leverage the compiler heavily. Additionally, I have a decoupled scheduler inside million.js to ensure over 60 frames per second performance when the user is on the web page. Because of its robust and efficient architecture, it has exceptional performance results. In figure six and figure seven, I did benchmarks with the JS framework benchmark guidelines, which benchmark seven different ways of rendering the user interface. As you can see in figure six and highlighted in the pink, million.js has really exceptional performance. DOM, the DOM method is basically the baseline method or the raw performance of the web page. You can't beat the DOM method, but million.js performs significantly better as indicated with the green than the other virtual DOM libraries as indicated in the yellows and red colors. If you want to test the benchmarks yourself, you can actually go to million.adenyby.com um, to benchmark. Figure six is actually visualized in figure seven. As you can see, million.js uh, performs much better than the other methods with the exception of the DOM method. In fact, million.js can perform up to 
133 to 300% better than the other libraries. Because of its exceptional performance and efficient architecture, it's being used by developers around the world. It's already being used in independent open source projects, such as in Figure 8. The Illumina JavaScript UI library, developed by a, a keyboard software community, utilizes Million.js for rendering. Additionally, um, various web development consulting agencies use Million.js to create custom solutions to better serve their customers. Million.js has been featured in major developer publications like JavaScript Weekly, YC Hacker News, and Product Hunt. In response, it's received over 1.3 thousand GitHub stars and 100,000 hits to the web page. This signifies overwhelming developer interest and usage. This project has been really meaningful to me, and it has been a five month journey of developing and marketing this project consistently. I spent over 300 hours into this project, and it's something I really, really believe in. If there are three conclusions you should take away from Million, it should be that it's really fast and lightweight, it's really simple to use and scalable in features, but most importantly, it's a breakthrough in the stagnant virtual DOM space. The virtual DOM has been around for over 10 years and has only had incremental performance optimizations. Now, by leveraging the compiler with million.js, we can make a quantum leap in the virtual DOM space. For my next steps, I want to create build plugins to create pre-optimized virtual nodes or raw data. This has the potential for no JavaScript runtime at all. Additionally, I want to tighten the feedback loop for bugs and features by creating my own user interface library. Finally, I want to work with other user interface library developers to integrate Million.js. This has already been happening, but I want to do it at a larger scale. Here are some of the references I used in my research paper. And if you want to check out Million.js further, you can go to this website and check out any of the links. Thank you so much for listening. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns?